you guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel I have a 200 subscriber giveaway going on right now so I will link that above me here if you want to go over and check that out take a moment and do so um, anyway so uh, to the video I wanted to do a kind of a mishmash of product reviews. I have a whole bunch of empties, donates, and products that I'm currently using that I can give my feedback on. So I clearly, I have a whole lot going on here on my vanity and I really want to clear some of it off. And some of the empties and donates are right here. And if I can, I've been saving it for this video. So um, I'm gonna get started. What inspired me to do this hair is that um, I actually showered before I went to work this morning. Not, not, <laughs> I shower before I go to work every morning. I meant to say I actually washed my hair before I went to work this morning. So, um, and I used some um, new products from the uh, FabFitFun Winter Edit. Not all of this stuff is gonna be FabFitFun products, but a great deal of it is going to be. Um, so I'm gonna start off then with, I used the R & Co Scalp Scrub, and you know, I think I kinda need to get the hang of scalp scrubs. It said to use a walnut sized amount, which really didn't feel like enough, and I also didn't feel like I quite aimed right to get it onto my scalp. I felt like I was putting it like more on the top of my hair. Um, so I think I need to get the hang of it. it didn't feel quite as clarifying as the um, DP Hue Apple Cider Vinegar Scalp Scrub. That one is really clarifying because of the vinegar. Um, but it does, it's a little wet from the shower. It does smell, it does smell good. I'm trying to decide what it smells like. It has kind of a, well, it has a sugary smell because the, the scrub in it is sugar. So I think it has kind of a brown sugary smell. Not entirely only. There's a, a hints of other stuff in there. It's a good smell. Um, so I'm gonna circle back on this one and let you know what I think. I I think that I think it felt nice. I think it was good. I don't know if I'm quite on the scalp scrub bandwagon yet. I'll, I'll talk about this one again as I um, use more of it. That was a first impression review, for sure. Anyway, so what I used in my hair to get it like this is I started off with, this is not a FabFitFun product. And if you've followed me at all, you know that I've been trying to be more mindful about buying cruelty-free and going cruelty-free. This one is really sad because Garnier Fructis, of the, all the products I've used from them, they just get it right. I have liked everything I've used from them, which hasn't been a lot. This, I've like used like three things, but um, anyway, so this is so they're not cruelty free, and I'm trying to milk this because. I won't buy it again because I'm trying to take that stance for myself. Um, but anyway, this is excellent. So I used I used some of this. It's Moroccan Sleek Oil, Argan Oil from Morocco, and it's it's really really good. It smells really good. It has kind of a a, a fairly runny consistency. But so I put about a quarter size drop um, on either side of my hair of this. And then I used this. I used the Living Proof um, Restore Perfecting Spray uh, from the Winter Edit Sale. And um, I think that it did a good job. I didn't use it on its own because I like to use the product on its own just to see how it how well it does. Um, but I, I was in the morning and I had to go to work so I needed to make sure that my hair dried kind of decently. <laughs> but um, so I used a little bit of the oil, which I, I do before anything anyway. And then I sprayed this all over, and then I put in a little bit of my, um, I put in probably like this much of my leave-in conditioner from Alba Botanica, um, which isn't very much. I usually put more, a lot more in if it's just gonna be this. So that's what I did to my hair, and I would say that my first impression of the Living Proof per Perfecting Spray, which is the main thing that's in my hair right now, I think it did an excellent job. 
I, I really do. I like it. Thumbs up on that. Um, so, yeah. So, I, so, all the Botanica is great. I'm very upset with them because they have, this was my favorite, favorite styling cream. Um, and even my husband loved it. And then one day I was like, oh, I'm running low. And I went on Amazon to order more. And I was thinking, why are they all $50? now and then because it's usually like eight or nine and then I found out that they had discontinued it so everyone was selling theirs for like fifty dollars way out. and then now so I thought okay well I'll just go with their leave-in conditioner for myself now they discontinued this one too so they discontinued this whole line and they rebranded and they came out with a new one and it I, it's scented and I just don't know. I'm just really I'm mourning these still. That's too bad. Um, okay, so that's my hair for today. I'm going to go on and do some empties. And this is in no particular order and it is pretty much all skincare and hair care stuff. So this is, I squeezed the living daylights out of it to try to get every last drop out. This is the Grown Alchemist Age Repair Moisturizer um, Phytopeptide and White Tea Extract. And this is a, a face cream and this is very, very good. It feels very hydrating and it's really, really thick. It's almost like the difference between um, like a body cream versus a body butter. So there's face cream, this is more like a face butter. It's like really thick and it feels super hydrating and takes a little bit longer to absorb, but I, I think it's very effective. I, like most people, I'm a big, big fan of the Grown Alchemist products. Um, and it had a really, really subtle smell, white tea ex extract, that's a really appropriate description of kind of what it smelled like. Um, so this was excellent. I got it in the fall edit sale. So it lasted me about three and a half months or so, four months. So that's a good run. Um, so would I pay full price for this? I don't know, not, not as a FabFitFun member. <laughs> um, but I definitely would if I had that kind of a budget and I wasn't a FabFitFun member, I would look, I would be on board with paying that much for this. Absolutely, it's a good uh, face lotion. Um, okay, so this is empty. This is the Marrakesh Argon and Hemp Oil Therapy Leave-In Treatment and Detangler. I really, really like this. I didn't like it the first time I used it because I used it to try to touch up um, my dry hair, my second day curls, and the smell is really, really overwhelming when I used it that way. But then I gave it another chance and I used it on my wet hair to dry and I did a video about this and I'll link that above me here. Um, and the smell for some reason was much more subdued once it, once it dried and it was it smells actually really, really nice. So um, I was really pleasantly surprised because I was kind of bummed because I bought two of these in the fall edit sale. This was from the fall, fall edit sale like this one was. Um, so for me, it, I don't like it as a touch up on dry hair, but I love it on wet hair. Um, and that's my review on that one. This is the, I was so sad when this one ran out. I really liked this. I don't like the smell. Um, it smells like lemon verbena, which is, um, like, le reminds me of lemon pledge and just does, I don't like it very much. The Karen G Retinol Renewing Serum. And I thought that this was, it was the first retinol serum that I had ever used and it was an excellent, excellent introduction to retinol. Um, I used it every other night and there was a little bit of flaking and I was able to combat that with um, this. I love this stuff. This is from Trader Joe's. This was in my 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, that uh, Leanne gives one. Hi, Leanne. Um, so I love this. So I was able to combat the dryness by just putting a little bit of argon, uh, pure argon oil on those spots on my face. Um, so this was an excellent introduction to retinol. I 
the smell I can get past it and if you like a lot of people like lemon verbena I really recommend this and caring Karen dr. Karen Grossman caring is the brand um, she does they do everything you know it's cruelty free it's uh, all things good <laughs> they, they're made in the USA yeah all things good I recommend this okay so this is the Pond's Dry Skin Cream Moisturizer. And you know, Pond's wrote the book on cold cream. And that means that they've been around a long time, and that means that they are still making their products with parabens. They haven't um, changed their formulas. I actually had a big tub of cold cream and I put it in my giveaway pile because I realized it had parabens in it. and. Might as well avoid parabens if we can. Um, on top of the parabens, this has a really strong, like, soapy smell. That, um, oh, it's too strong. It's not a bad smell, it's just too strong. And it kind of reminds me of Dial from the 80s. I don't know, do people still use Dial? I don't think so. But, you know, before body wash came became really popular, people used Dial bar soap. Anyway, that's what it reminds me of. It's really, really strong. Um, so I this came in my Influencer uh, Best of 2018 box, and um, I'm going to put this in my donate pile and give this to a women's shelter. So that's a big no for me. What else? I have this. This is a hair thing. So this is Rusk Therma Shine Spray. And... My sister-in-law, who just had a baby, I'm an aunt, um, that's so exciting. Anyway, <laughs> my sister-in-law, she has very similar hair to me, kind, I mean, kind of, as similar as it can get, um, and we were, I was asking her what she does with her hair, and she had this with her, and she said she really liked it. I tried it, and I don't, and... The reason is, is, so what it is, is it's an argon oil thermal shine spray. She used it to on second day hair to like touch up her hair. Um, so it's an oil spray, I guess. I didn't like it because it has like an aerosol spray to it and it was suffocating. It was suffocating to like, I felt like I was breathing in all the little droplets and um, yeah, and then all day long, I just, I still felt it like that. I don't know. It was really suffocating. This one, I actually don't like for a very similar reason. And maybe, maybe I just don't like spray dry oils. Um, this one is L'Oreal um, Argan Oil of Morocco Dry Oil. And... Uh, it's the same deal. When I spray this, it's like, this one not so much because it's not an aerosol that has a continuous spray, but it's like a pump. So I just, it's something about the, it just hits me too hard. I can't, I can't do it. And then the whole day I still feel like that. And you know, your hair's right by your nose. So <laughs> it's all day long. <laughs> um, so these are a no for me. And I think it could, it could be a personal preference on the no spray dry oils. Um, and you can tell I gave this one a good shot. Half of it's gone. I tried. I tried with this one. And I also didn't feel like, aside from the blast of, you know, inhalation that I felt like I got, I didn't really feel like there was much of a... I didn't feel like it helped in the way that I would have wanted to. I like to, if I'm going to touch up my curls, I like to get them a little bit wet again and just put some more... Um, of like a leave-in conditioner type thing or a spray like this one or the Marrakesh. I I'm, I'm not a I'm not I'm not into the spray dry oils. Um so those um that's I I'm moving on. I've been talking about those I feel like for a while. Uh so what else? How, how are we on time? I'll do a couple more things here. Um so what else? I have been using this is the Origins Ginseng refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff and I got this one in the um, Influencer Best of 20, uh, 2018 box and I like this. So back on the cruelty free topic, Origins 
touts itself as being cruelty free, but they're owned by Estee Lauder, and Estee Lauder isn't cruelty free. So I don't really know what to make of that. I don't understand how a company can get away with saying they're cruelty free when their parent company isn't. I mean, anyway, but aside from that, the, um, I have a little sample here. It was weird. The box came with this little sample and the full size. Uh, I've been using this every single morning. It feels very, very silky. Um, I'm going to see if I can show you guys. It's like kind of a pinky shimmery color. So it says it's to brighten and depuff, and so it has a little bit of a shimmer, and I think that that's where the brighten part comes from. And I, you can see it. It's really subtle. It's really nice. I am just going to rub this on my face to get it off my finger. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I like it. I like it. I don't know that I would repurchase it because I'm trying to steer clear of um, or steer myself toward cruelty-free. But um, it's a good, it's a good morning eye cream. Eye, eye cream. It's not for nighttime. It specifically says use in the AM. Um, and I think that this video is probably getting long enough, so I am going to wrap up here. And I hope that you are having a wonderful day. And I will see you later. Bye.